Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Glimmer by Erica Stupefy and I'm going to stamp on it. I've started off with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone. It's a peel off base coat and I'm going to apply two coats of it. I'm only going to show me applying one but I did end up applying two. And I've got to break Woody out right off the bat and get that cleaned up. And this is Glimmer by Erica Stupefy and it's from her Harry Potter collection beautiful jelly polish. I've already applied the first coat. Um, the footage was so blurry and out of frame that I just went ahead and left it out. <laughs> so we're going to apply the second coat of this one. Get it all nice and smooth. This is the cool pink jelly with the, it's like a purple pinky iridescent shards in it. I really, really like this one. It just glows. And I'm going to top this off with some Jealous because it is a little bit bumpy because of those flakies. <clears throat> and I'm sorry it's so blurry, but my camera's trying to pick up that shimmery from the flaky goodness that it's just not wanting to behave. I am capping my ends as usual. And I'm also going to be doing a little bit of cleanup with Woody because I'm messy. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to let this dry just a sec and then we're going to add on some posh top coat and seal it in, get it to dry down fast so that we can do some stamping. This is so squishy looking on the nail. I just ugh, love it. Love, love it. I'm going to break Woody out again. He's going to get a workout in this video, it appears. Of course, I am painting on my non-dominant hand, or painting with my non-dominant hand, so I tend to make a little bit of a mess. I'm going to be stamping with Revlon today, and this is called Tempting, number 805. And I'll be using this acrylic plate that I got from AliExpress. I'll also be using my Conan stamper and scraper. And I'm going to do the rolling motion with this one. And it picked up beautifully. And I'm just going to stamp that onto my nails. I'm going to use the same design on all my nails. I thought about mixing it up, but after I got started, I really liked the look of this. And that you could still see a lot of the base color underneath. So I decided to just not go too overboard. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <clears throat> and while I'm stamping these out, I want to mention that, um, you know, I know you guys have figured it out that this is my new favorite stamper. I still love my monocle stamper by Bundle Monster, but it's been, it's got a clear bottom on it and it's slid around my desk so much that it's kind of starting to get scratchy and foggy, hard to look through. And this one doesn't have that issue. It doesn't have anything on it. So I really do love this one. And... I ordered some knockoff versions of these off of AliExpress, and as soon as they come in, I will be showing them on my channel. Um, they were like a dollar seventeen a piece or something. You just can't beat that. And if they're comparable to this, if they're, you know, pretty good, then a dollar seventeen. Ha! Huh, love it. Okay, so I'm done with all my stamping, and I've done my cleanup with tape off of camera, and now I'm going to go in and just tidy up just a little bit with my Sonia Kushak's Tools number 27 brush and some pure acetone. I'm going to get that all cleaned up. And now we're going to put a final top coat on and I will be using Posh today. I'm just going to seal this one in, capping my tips and, <clears throat> excuse me, everything. Get it all sealed in so that stampin' don't come right off. And there's Woody again. He's a busy guy today. So here's my final Manny. I hope you enjoyed this one. I've got a swatch photo coming up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and until next time, be good to yourself. Bye!